Okay, I'm gonna call this meeting to order. Can everybody please stand up for the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the yeah. United States of America and to the Republic for the one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is he back? He is back. He is, he's on mute though. Computer difficulties. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. We did the pledge, Jerry. So you yeah, I, it. Yep, I, I heard. Uh, I, I didn't see, but I heard. Okay. okay. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to say that we're zooming again in this world, but that's that seems to be life. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Uh, reading of the approval of the minutes of the last meeting. Motion to approve. Second. Any question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Opportunity for the public to address the board agenda items only. No, we received no agenda emails. Okay. Resolution 220005, approving current payables. Be it resolved, Board of Commissioners, the Lackawanna County is hereby approve the following payables. Lackawanna County's General fund numbers 334082-334679 inclusive, totaling $2,400,916.77. Atlantic electronic fund transfers, including all payroll accounts, totaling $6,070,429.37. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County, held on January 5th, 2021. Mr. Chairman. Anyone have any uh, questions on um, this? Okay. I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. motion. Second. Okay. On the question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Resolution 220006. Awarding the project consultant for the recreation needs and parks assessment. Be it resolved. The Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby award the project consultant for recreation needs and parks assessment and does hereby enter into a professional services agreement with Environmental Planning and Design LLC 100 Ross Street, Suite 500, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 18, I'm sorry, 15219 LLC. Be it resolved. The Lackawanna County desires professional services related to Lackawanna County's recreational needs and parks assessment amenity upgrades and additions necessary to respond to the increased park usage and to mitigate the negative effects of COVID-19 pandemic initially at McDade Park and the Lackawanna County coal mine tour. And be it resolved that Lackawanna County desires environmental planning and design LLC to include best practice practices to assist with recreation needs and parks assessment and requirements following the onset of COVID-19 with shuttered venue operations grant funds to assist in responding to the ongoing repercussions left by, co by the COVID-19 pandemic. And be it further resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby direct the Director of Planning and Economic Development to sign and authorize all documents related to this agreement. And now therefore be it resolved this fifth day of January, 2022, that the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners is hereby authorized entering into a professional services agreement with Environmental Planning and Design LLC. Adopted at a regular meeting, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Mr. Chairperson, here to speak upon that is our Director of Economic Development, Ms. Brenda Sackham. Good morning, everyone. Morning. This resolution states that the county is entering into a professional service agreement with environmental planning and design to, pro to provide consulting services with regard to Lackawanna County's recreation needs and park assessment amenity upgrades. This agreement is the result of an RFP that was issued in July of 2021. Does anyone have any questions? The uh, responses did you uh, receive from that RFP? I believe there were four. And this was reviewed and everyone feels it's the uh, best choice? Yes, we, we had a, a, a committee and we all met and we interviewed um, the, um, the individuals, companies that had submitted RFPs. And then we did a rubric and we did rating of the companies and environmental planning and design came on top. Thank you. Anyone have any other questions? 
I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Second. Okay, on the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Resolution 220007. Commissioner, it's just for the record, uh, Ms. Sacco will be here for the next seven uh, resolutions. Entering into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Olicum, be it resolved the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby authorized to enter into a co cooperation agreement with the Borough of Oliphant for the Oliphant Borough Building ADA Accessibility Project. Be it further resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the of County of Lackawanna does hereby award the following Community Development Block Grant Construction Contract for the Borough of Oliphant, Oliphant Borough Building ADA Accessibility Project to Number one, general construction, the Sean Byrne Construction, 349 Rear North Main Street, Dixon City, Pennsylvania. The lowest and most responsible qualified bidder, $131,136. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County, held on January 5th, 2022. Ms. Sacco. These are standard required agreements for our CDBG program. And this resolution states that the county is entering into the cooperation agreement with the Borough of Oliphant and a contractor agreement with Sean Byrne Construction, who was the lowest, most responsible bidder for the Oliphant Borough ADA Accessibility Project in the amount of 131136 Any questions? Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. And the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, resolution 220008. Entering into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Germany. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna is hereby authorized to enter into a cooperation agreement with the Borough of Germany. Be it further resolved, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Lackawanna do hereby award the following Community Development Block Grant Construction Contract for the German Borough ADA Elevator Construction Project to one general construction, Scandale Associated, Associated Builders, 100 Colliery Road, Dixon City, Pennsylvania, 18519, the lowest and most responsible and qualified bidder for $233,266. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Once again, Ms. Sacco. Again, these are standard required agreements for our CDBG program. The resolution states that the county is entering into the cooperation agreement with the Borough of German and the contractor agreement with Scandell Associated Builders Construction, who again was the lowest, most responsible bidder for the ADA elevator construction project in the amount of 233266 Any questions? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Motion. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. He, he, he made a motion. I'll second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Resolution 220009. Ratifying the submission of a RAC B grant application for the Fidelity Deposit and Discount Bank. Whereas the Fidelity Deposit and Discount Bank entails the purchase, construction, renovations, and related costs of an existing property for their headquarters in Lackawanna County, Pennsylvania, and whereas the County of Lackawanna is an eligible applicant for the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program, RACP funds, as a source to finance the project. And whereas the Fidelity Deposit and Discount Bank has proposed that the County assist Fidelity Discount Deposit and Discount Bank in obtaining funding from the Commonwealth's Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program for the project. And whereas the county desires to assist Fidelity Deposit and Discount Bank in obtaining funding from the Commonwealth's Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program for the project, whereas Lackawanna County hereby authorizes the chair of the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners to sign and authorize all documents and accept any awards related to these Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program funds, and now therefore be it resolved that the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners is hereby authorized to accept an application and award in the amount of $2 million from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania for a Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program grant on behalf of the Fidelity Deposit and Discount Bank for phase two of their project. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Once again, Ms. Sacco. This resolution is ratifying the filing and acceptance of a redevelopment assistance capital program grant application with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania on behalf of Fidelity Deposit and Discount Bank in the amount of $2 million for the bank headquarters project. 
The project entails planning for and potentially constructing a modern office building on acquired land and or renovating a vintage building to be owned by the bank in order to locate their headquarters and showcase their growing digital capabilities in Lackawanna County. In addition, the proposed project would create a more attractive environment for highly desired talent to support business objectives, incre increase capacity to accommodate plan growth and technology and improve efficiency in their service and operations. Any questions? Okay, I'll entertain a uh, motion to approve. Motion. Second. The question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, uh, resolution 220010. Ratifying the submission of a RACP grant application for the Fellowship House. Whereas the Fellowship House project entails the purchase, construction, renovations, and related costs of an existing property to provide recovery services in Lackawanna County, Pennsylvania, and whereas the County of Lackawanna is an eligible applicant for the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program funds as a source to finance the project, and whereas the Fellowship House has proposed that the County assist the Fellowship House in obtaining funding from the Commonwealth's Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program for the project, and whereas the county desires to assist the, friendship, the fellowship house in obtaining funding from the Commonwealth's Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program for the project. Whereas Lackawanna County hereby authorizes the chair of the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners to sign and authorize all documents and accept any awards related to these Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program funds. And now therefore be it resolved that the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners is hereby authorized to accept an application and award in the amount of $1 million from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania for the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program grant on behalf of the Fellowship House for the Fellowship House project. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Uh, once again, Ms. Sacco. Uh, again, this resolution is rat ratifying the filing and acceptance of the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program grant application with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania on behalf of the Fellowship House in the amount of $1 million for a project which entails the purchase, construction, renovations, and related costs of a, an existing property to provide recovery services within Lackawanna County. Any questions? No questions? I will entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. And the question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay, thank you. Resolution 220011. Ratifying the submission of a RACP grant application on behalf of Abington Redevelopment. Whereas Abington Redevelopment aims to repurpose existing real estate for medical and neighborhood commercial venues and also expand small business enterprise and small business employment growth with the construction of approximately 35,000 additional square feet of commercial space in Lackawanna County, Pennsylvania. And whereas the Lackawanna County the County of Lackawanna is an eligible applicant for the Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program funds as a source to finance the project. And whereas Crown South Abington Holdings LLC has proposed that the county assist Abington Redevelopment in obtaining funding from the Commonwealth's Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program for the project. And whereas the county desires to assist Abington Redevelopment in obtaining funding from the Commonwealth's Redevelopment Assistance Capital Program for the project. Whereas Lackawanna County hereby authorizes the chair of the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners to sign and authorize all documents and accept any awards related to these redevelopment assistance capital program funds. And now therefore be it resolved that the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners is hereby authorized to accept an application to and award in the amount of $3 million from the, capital, from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania for the redevelopment assistance capital program grant on behalf of Crown South Abington Holdings LLC for the Abington Redevelopment Project. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Once again, here is Ms. Sanko. Um, again, this resolution is ratifying <laughs> and, uh, the filing and acceptance of the Redevelopment Assistance Capital uh, Program grant application with the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania on behalf of Abington Redevelopment in the amount of $3 million. This project aims to repurpose existing real estate in South Abington and Clark Summit area for medical and commercial venues. Any questions? Okay. Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Any question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Resolution 220012. 
Designation of an agent for the Lackawanna County Hazard Mitigation Plan. Whereas the Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, requires the hazard mitigation plan for counties to be periodically updated. And whereas the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, has approved funding for Lackawanna County to update the 2021 hazard mitigation plan for the county. And whereas the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency requires the designation of of an agent by the county to authorize, execute for, and act on behalf of the Lackawanna County Board of Commissioners. Now, therefore, be it resolved, Lackawanna County does hereby designate the Director of the Department of Planning and Economic Development as the agent to authorize, execute for, and act on behalf of the commissioners for the application to a forthcoming contract between Lackawanna County and the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency for the 2025 Hazard Mitigation Plan update. Adapt, adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Once again, here is Ms. Sacco. This resolution is required to allow the county to apply to FEMA for funding for the 2025 Hazard Mitigation Plan update. The Hazard Mitigation Plan is federally mandated to be updated every five years. If it is not complete and adopted, all municipalities will not have the potential to be funded if there is a presidential declaration of an emergency. Our latest hazard mitigation plan was adopted in 2021. Questions? Okay, thank you, Brenda. You're welcome. Uh, entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Uh, second. On the question, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution 220013. Amending the recovery loan program, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approve and amend resolution 20-0126. Whereas on June 17, 2020, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County approved the Lackawanna County Recovery Loan Program to be administered by Metro Action, a nonprofit affiliate of the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce, with a contribution of $200,000 from the Department of Community and Economic Development. The recovery loan program was created to assist established Lackawanna County businesses who were negatively impacted by COVID-19. Whereas this amendment will adjust the guidelines of the loan program to be in line with the current needs of the Lackawanna County businesses who were negatively impacted by COVID-19. The amended Lackawanna County COVID relief loan program will provide working capital to be used by the business for operations. Eligible uses include, but are not limited to lease and mortgage payments, utility payments, payroll, and other operational expenses. To include purchase of machinery, equipment, or technology that will allow the business to expand its operations. Loan amounts will be available for qualified and approved applicants up to $25,000 with a maximum 36 month term on, the, uh, on a first come first serve basis until funding is exhausted. Whereas the administration and contribution will remain in effect as previously approved by resolution 20-0126 and be adopted and incorporated as if fully set forth herein. Adopted at regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Finally, here is Ms. Sacco. Uh, this resolution again is amending the resolution 20-0126 approving a $200,000 contribution to the Lackawanna County Recovery Loan Program that will be administered on our behalf by Metro Action, an affiliate of the Greater Scranton Chamber of Commerce. The June 2020 loan program allowed for loans up to $10,000, but the amended recovery loan program will assist small businesses in Lackawanna County that again have been negatively impacted by COVID-19 by providing a loan up to $25,000 for operational expenses. Any questions? No one has any questions. I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. And the question, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. You, Thank you. you were busy, Brenda. I'm a little busy. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. Bye. Resolution 220014. Entering into a intergovernmental agreement with the United States Marshals Service. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby enter into an intergovernmental agreement with the United States Department of Justice, United States Marshals Service, for a new negotiated per diem rate of $102 for the Lackawanna County prison to house federal detainees. 
adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that is the warden of the Lackawanna County Prison, Mr. Tim Betty. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Good. Uh, real briefly, the um, inter intergovernmental agreement with the U.S. Marshal Services, what it does is it, uh, it allows us to... Uh, go up to charging $102 per day per U.S. Marshal detainee for a three-year time period. Um, and at that point, uh, we could either attempt a, a, a renewed contract three years from now, or we can just have things continue at what they are. The nice thing is that is the $102 uh, per diem is a $15 increase over what is currently being charged. Um, it would, uh, if our current U.S. Marshal detainee population remained as it, what it is today, 169. That would be a, a, a monetary increase in revenue of over $900,000 for the year 2022. Uh, the rest of it is, is rather routine and, and normal. What we've always had with the, the rest of the contract is what we've always had with the U.S. Marshal Service, but I'm open to any questions anyone may have. Any okay. questions? I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thanks. Resolution 220015. Entering into an agreement with Cornerstone Detention Products. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby enter into a service agreement with Cornerstone Detention Products Incorporated on behalf of the Lackawanna County Prison. Agreement to commence immediately and expire on December 31st, 2022 for maintenance, repair, and or evaluation of new or existing security equipment. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Mr. Chairman, once again, here is Warden Betty. Uh, regarding this... Uh contract the service agreement with Cornerstone, just in case it rings any bells with anyone, Cornerstone is the new name of uh, the old company, Comtech. We've dealt with Comtech since the, uh, since the prison was renovated and rebuilt in 1998. They are the uh, software management company for all of our, our doors and how our doors tie in with our cameras. Extremely important software. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's an annual fee, I believe this year, a little over $12,000. Um, that's right in the ballpark of what it's always been. I believe that they've always incorporated three or 4% increases annually. Uh, but it's, it's well worth it because of the benefit we reap from it, uh, from that software package. And frankly, they're the only game in town. Any questions for Warden Betty? Nope. Nope. Retain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Question. All in favor? Aye. Okay, thanks, Warden. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Resolution 220016. Entering into a second amendment to a lease agreement. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby enter into a second amendment to a lease agreement with Bertram Realty. Corporation to Maxim, Maxim Drive, Old Forge to lease the property at one Maxim Drive, Old Forge for the use of the district magistrate office. Term of amended lease extended until December 31st, 2026. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that is the first assistant solicitor, Mr. Don Fredericks. Thank you, commissioners. Uh, before, for your consideration today is an extension on the magistrate's lease down in the Old Forge area. It's a five-year renewal. Um, for the first three years, 22, 23, and 24, the monthly rent will be $2,400 a month, and then that will increase uh, to 2,500 for the last two years, 2025 and 2026. We've had a magistrate's office there since 2011, and uh, it's a magistrate's SIGS office on Old Forge. Okay. Any questions for Don? Nope. Retain a motion to approve. Motion. Right, motion. Okay. okay, second. On the question. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. 
uh, motion or resolution 220017. Entering into a Homeland Security Grant Agreement, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby enter into a grant agreement with the Pennsylvania Department of Emergency Management and the Northeast Pennsylvania Regional Counterterrorism Task Force for the United States Homeland Security Grant in the amount of $916,022 to commence on September 1st, 2021 and expire on August 31st, 2024. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that as our Emergency Management Agency Director, Mr. Tom Taylor. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, this is the Homeland Security Grant Program. Uh, this grant uh, program supports the 10 County Pennsylvania Northeast Counterterrorism Task Force. Um, the grant supports the training equipment, the maintenance on the equipment, planning, the exercises that are conducted throughout the years. Um, the task force equipment is shared between all 10 counties. Um, it's available to all 10 counties. Uh, it also supports the SWAT um, bomb squad and the USAR team that is housed out of the city of Scranton for their equipment as well. Any questions? No questions. I'll entertain a motion. 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 Second. I'm a question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Okay, resolution 220018. Approving the district attorney's memorandum of agreement. Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby approved the memorandum of agreement renewal option number one between the district attorney's office and the Scranton Housing Authority for the services of an assistant district attorney for the year 2022. Adopted at a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Mr. Chairman, here to speak upon that is our district attorney of Lackawanna County, Mr. Mark Powell. Uh, hey, Mark. Good morning. Good morning all, happy new year. Um, I'm requesting the approval of a one year extension with the Scranton Housing Authority. This is a long standing grant designed to provide a safe and a drug free environment for our Scranton Housing Authority. Um, it's a grant we apply for uh, every couple of years, uh, but the last time we apply, there's a, a essentially an automatic one year extension, which we're requesting that the county enter into and we will reapply for the grant when due. Okay. Anyone have any other questions for uh, Mr. Powell? I don't. Okay. No. Entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Other question? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Resolution 220019. Approving provider contracts for the Office of Behavioral Health, Intellectual Disabilities, and Early Intervention Programs. Be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County does hereby approve the provider contracts between the Department of Human Services, Lackawanna County, Lackawanna, Susquehanna Behavioral Health and Intellectual Disabilities Early Intervention Program and their providers for the fiscal year 2021 through 2022. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Mr. Chairperson, here to speak upon that is the Behavioral Health Intellectual Disabilities Early Prevention Program Director and Administrator, Ms. Marianne Colbert. Thank you, Commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. For your consideration this morning are two early intervention contracts for two prospective providers, one for Elizabeth Kibikash, who will provide physical therapy services to infants and toddlers birth to age three and Compass Health Systems, who is requesting to provide special needs instruction, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and speech therapy, also for infants and toddlers birth to age three. Um, these are two willing and qualified providers and both have agreed to accept the rates established by the Office of Child Development and Early Learning to deliver these services for infants and toddlers in Lackawanna and Susquehanna counties. Do you have any questions that I can respond to? If there's no questions, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. No question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks, Thank Marianne. you so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Too. You too. too. Okay, resolution 220020. Ratifying a lease with Steamtown LLC. 
Be it resolved, the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby ratify and enter into a lease agreement with Steamtown 300 LLC, one Keystone Place, Jessup, for the movie house facility located at 301 Lackawanna Avenue, Scranton, for the purpose of a COVID testing for the general public. Term to commence January 1st, 2022 and expire January 31st, 2022, with the possibility of an extension and to cost $9,000 a month. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Mr. Chairman, I'll speak up on that. Um, as, you are know, as you all know, that we have opened up a, a free rapid testing clinic uh, right next door to us here in the government building at the uh, this former Steamtown Movie Theater on the first floor. We're occupying it. Um, I can give you more details about it as we move on to the next resolution and how we're faring over there. Um, but this will be paid out of COVID money. It's going really well, though, at this point, right? It is. It is. And I can give, I can give the details of it right now. Oh, no, no, you can wait. We'll, we'll get, get this one over with. Okay, I'll sure. entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, resolution 220021. Yes, Mr. Chairman, ratifying the agreement for the interim health care services, be it resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County is hereby ratifying and enter into a professional services agreement on behalf of the Lackawanna County Department of Health and Human Services and the area on aging with the interim health care services incorporated for health care staffing. Adopted a regular meeting of the Board of Commissioners of Lackawanna County held on January 5th, 2022. Uh, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, this is the contract of the individuals who are actually doing the testing next door. It pays for the nurses that are doing the testing and the clerical staff that is taking down the details of the, of, of the individuals who are coming through and filling out the forms, as well as providing, uh, unfortunately, positive results, and then also providing uh, forms that are, are negative results. So. Um, this is also going to be paid out of COVID-19 money. And the people are segregated, the ones that are asymptomatic and the ones that do have symptoms when they go to the, the testing areas, correct? That is correct. Right, right now, what we did over the, the, the holiday weekend, uh, the, the New Year weekend, was we opened up a site, uh, several sites actually, uh, where people can go in and were able to uh, click on and get themselves an appointment to come in. Uh, that filled up within the first 24 hours for all of this week. Uh, the individuals over there were able to ascertain and get uh, 96 appointments per day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. But they were also providing uh, for walk-ins. Um, when there was a walk-in, they were doing the triage with them right then and there. The only individuals we are bringing in are allowing in for these rapid tests, which are uh, available, though the results are available in 15 minutes, are those who have been exposed or are those who are uh, showing symptoms. And those two categories are uh, placed in two different theaters, as it were, over in the, in the movie theater area. Right. Um, and they're separated with social distancing in the, in the chairs and all that kind of stuff. So on the first day, uh, we had the 96 show up and we also had an additional uh, 50 some show up. We did a little bit over 148 tests on the first day. Yesterday, we went over 400. Um, we and see us continuing to do that for the rest of this week. Uh, we have ordered more tests and we're hoping that we'll get those in uh, Friday or Monday. We should have enough tests right now to take us into Monday. Um, but by the end of today, really is when we're going to know uh, where we are as far as how many tests we have left. Um, we have ordered them. And they were on their way and a storm hit in Baltimore. So uh, that's the last we heard where they were was in Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. Anyone have any questions for Mr. Jeffers? No. I'll entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Second. Any question? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Jeffers. Opportunity for the public to address the board. Hi. Hi, Ms. Smart. So we received one email today at the open meetings at LackawannaCounty.org, but I responded to the email address and let them know that based on the legal advertisement that comments and questions in writing must include their name and address in order to be answered and included in the minutes 
and it must be received by 9 a.m. at on the day of the meeting. So I ask for them to respond and include those and the email will be read at the next meeting. Okay, thank you. And commissioners, that is just following our, our, our normal standard operating procedure. Even if somebody comes live to a meeting, we always request their name and address uh, just for the record. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, commissioners over business, Mr. Shermack. Let's uh, just say Happy New Year to everyone, and hopefully we will, after this little short uh, Zoom yeah. session, we'll be back on track yeah. here, but uh, let's hope for the best. I agree with you. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Dominic? I have nothing. Okay. All right. I would like to thank everyone, and unfortunately, we are Zoom again, and we will be at our next meeting, and after that, hopefully, we'll be live. Uh, thank everyone for their patience and understanding and please get vaccinated. Thank you. Entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Second. On the question. On the question. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.